Welcome back. This is episode 12, I want to say. Is that right? YouTube video... Nope, this is episode 13. Haha, <laughs> -ha. sorry, I was just looking at something off camera. Um, so I'm still trying to recover. Essentially, that MC edit thing I did last wow. episode to try and fix my world from being super stupid... Um, that didn't work completely, it started happening again, so what I did was completely delete a few chunks. Um, not any of the chunks containing my base, thankfully, um, that was fine. But when I was actually looking in the game, there were a few areas where tons and tons of um, mob entities were like trying to spawn somehow, and then not being able to, I'm, I'm not sure. So what I did was just select the chunk, told it to delete the chunk and once I go back into the game it just you know repopulates that chunk it just remakes it uh, and so far that's been fine so I'm very happy with that um, whew, crisis over so MC edit will work with your Minecraft world just so long as you don't tell it to um, try and copy any of these things anywhere like you don't really want to mess around with that lot um, what is that lead or tin cool and obviously this guy is still working, so that is nice. Um, something that you may have noticed, well you probably wouldn't have noticed it because I only just put it in. Uh, I've got two pipes coming out of this guy here. Essentially cobblestone was like hogging the whole thing. So like cobblestone would come in, you know, once every, well like four would go up here and then keep getting sent along but I managed to get up to almost this point here full of other blocks and items and that's just not good enough so these things will take out one um, set of what is it one set of items like every tick or however long it is so what I've done is put down a second lot um, and that will take out the first two items in the chest every tick uh, not entirely certain but the only places that they can go is either if they are one of these ores, they will go into here, otherwise it goes into the chest. So um, that's working good. So you don't need to craft any like speed upgrades or anything like that. Uh, I thought I might have to, but I mean, if the only thing that these two need to do is just spit them out and then they either go into here or here, I mean, that's working perfectly fine for me. So there you go, just a little tip. And that pig, once again, is going all sorts of places what I need hmm, I actually need a way to like request items when I'm not here because it's starting to be a real pain uh, let's see what can I do um, yeah I think I know what I'll do it might take a little while though uh, first of all though what I would like to do first <laughs> first of first of all uh, I'll grab a little bit of wood um, let's see, I'm not entirely certain how to create this anymore, so uh, do forgive me. Oh, it is just like that. Okay, so I'm grabbing some trap doors. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with these, you may have guessed already. Uh, we'll go back downstairs and put this down. Nope. Ah, you booger. Now, can they get out? What about now? So I can do that. If I pick up this guy here and put you back in. I mean, is he able to go through? I'm not entirely certain. What I might do is just leave it there for now and if it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, then I'll figure something else out. I'll leave the other one there. But yay! I mean, a bat can't go through there and if a bat can't do it, then I don't see any reason why anything else can. Um, power is still working perfectly fine. Uh, I still need to create some more of those leadstone conduits because, I mean, the only one I've got is right there. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. So I might still make four of those and just see how we go. Um, yeah, because that was quite nice having, you know, those as portable batteries just to run, run around with. Um, so what I want to do now, I want to be able to request things while I'm not here because I was having a lot of trouble earlier on when I kept just taking this request logistics pipe and just bringing it downstairs and then bringing it back up here. 
I mean, I could end up just making more of them, but what I would rather do is use something like this. Uh, there is a thing in here that's called the remote orderer, which I believe you can have a whole different bunch of them based on where you want things to go. Um, but with mine at least, okay, so we need two diamond chips here, so that's perfectly all right. And then remote orderer logistics pipe, which requires one ender pearl, one redstone, and one basic. So that I am quite happy with. Uh, where are my chipsets? Chipset. Chip. There they are. So I need two of these. Uh, take that out. I need. Where are they? Uh, I'm gonna need one of those as well. Missing two obsidian, of course I am. <laughs> so one of the nice things about having this guy over here is that you can just take out a bucket of lava if you need it. Uh, and then I know I've got water on my base down here. Uh, whereabouts is it? Right there. So I'll place it in that corner there where it will just get straightly, more straight turned into um, obsidian and then the water will regenerate itself as well. Uh, so let me just get a little bit of obsidian and I'll see you in a second. All right, there we go. So I only had to get two obsidian for that one. Uh, let's see. So I've got the stuff for this guy and then I needed the ender pearl, basic logistic pipes and one piece of redstone. So one piece of redstone, uh, one pipe wherever it is and one ender pearl. Brilliant. Okay. So that lot is good. Uh, and then the glass as well, which I did not grab because I am silly. So there we go, four glass as well. So one, two, and then the glass. Um, so we'll do that one first, one, two, three, four. And a little bit expensive, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Uh, that guy goes there, up there, and here. Remote order a logistics pipe, very good. Uh, what I would like to do with this guy, um, let's see, what's the best way to, to do this? I think maybe just placing him up here for now because, you know, resort me, that just kind of lives by itself. Uh, now that's not how to do that, but I'll put down the ender chest. And I think this one I'll leave as the white, white, white. <laughs> Still got charcoal in there. Um, I'll put that stuff in there if I can. You can see that while I did turn off the charcoal generation, I'm only very, very slowly starting to lose all that. Uh, so I can be happy with that one. So I think what we do is <laughs> the requesting tool. I think we right click. There we go, connected to pipe, brilliant. Um, and then I should just be able to right click here. Good, 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 okay. So I can request things and they will automatically get put into this chest. Now tell me people, why do I want them in this chest? Even if I'm downstairs, I can't access that one. Well, let me tell you. Uh, if we get one of the ender bags, which I believe is over here, ender pouch, uh, requires four blaze powder, three leather, one ender pearl, and one piece of wool. Uh, of course, I've got sheep now, so I don't have to worry too much about using up all my wool. Uh, I'll grab one of these as well, and blaze powder, which I think I put over here. One, two, three, four. And then mob drops was one, two, three. Cool. Now shift, left click, grab, excellent. Now, if I right click on this, you can see, ooh, that chest opened. Why did it do that? Well, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that's being silly. Well, I'm being silly. Um, so if I request a whole bunch of diamonds, let's say all 12 of the diamonds that I've got, look at that, they got put into there, but I don't need to be beside that. I can right click on this bag and voila, eight diamonds. So I could grab that if I wanted to, and if I look in there, look, there's uh, still four diamonds. There we go, there's the other lot. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just what I want. So if I'm out somewhere in the world, I can still access, you know, this system should I need to. Uh, I'll put the diamonds back in there and that can get resorted. You can see that that is actually very quick. I'm very happy with this so far. 
Um, like all it is is just the quick sort module, which by its name it quickly sorts things. Uh, so you can understand why I would find it hard to be upset with that one. Okay, so another thing that I want to get done today is upgrading the logistics little um, inventory that I've got here. So I know I've got this stuff getting sorted out, that part's fine. Um, what's this doing? Oh, it is automatically putting that cobstone in here, so that's fine. A um, little bit of a waste, but then, I don't know. I can end up compacting all of that stuff there far, far more. Like I've got some in here. Um, there we go, double compressed cobblestone, uh, which is quite cool. Anyway, um, if, well, essentially I have learnt a few more things. One of them being that uh, you can sort by the specific mods themselves. So if I want to put all of the thermal expansion stuff, for example, into one chest, um, or all the Tinker's Construct stuff, or, you know, Ask Magicka, etc, etc, um, I could, I could do that. So, I think that might be what I do, or what I will do, rather. Um, so I want to take this guy here, because he's not actually doing anything along with the stuff in here. Provider I might take, uh, polymorphic. Hmm. Actually, what I could do is just put that stuff into here. Hang on. Yeah, that would be a good idea. And I've got some ice. Uh, which I gathered with Silky, Misk, oh, Shift, right click, down one, M-I-S-C, fantastic. Uh, so we'll grab this guy here, and that lot, and we'll come over here, and I'm probably going to start moving away from the polymorphic item sinks now, um, if I can help it. So I do still need a lot of the provider modules, and I will need some of these item sinks. Uh, you'll see why in a moment, but we'll take this one here uh, and here obviously it needs to be able to provide its inventory um, And I don't really want to tell it to leave anything in there uh, For example what I've got going on over here with tools. I mean often I only have um, one item per of that so uh, what I think I might do over here as well, just while I remember, is just to leave it as normal and that way everything in there will become available to me. So I've only got one build as wand, but that would never show up in my remote orderer before um, if I had searched for it because I've only got one of them. Uh, so it's things like that and I'll probably do the same thing with uh, armor over here, change that to normal. Um, but what I want to do over here, sorting by the mod, uh, if I go to, let's see, um, item sync, and then we go mod based item sync, which requires one golden chipset. Uh, let us just use this over here, even though I know it's only across the way. Uh, chipset. And I left it going for a long time, so that's why I've got so many. And I can put that over here, I'll grab the bag. There we go, so redstone golden chipset, uh, that just goes on top of one of these item sync modules. So item sync there, redstone golden chipset, hang on a second, what does that do? You put it in and it creates itself, okay. Um, mod based item sync, cool. So I've got two of those now, and I think the first, well, the very first one that we'll create, let's see, um, oh, wrong one. Uh, mod based item sync inventory now I think all you have to do is just put in the type of item that you want to come back um, so maybe we'll do it with Tinker's Construct so let's just add Tinker's Construct for now I may change that later on uh, and then we put down a chest over here and so everything that's from Tinker's Construct should end up going into that chest. So uh, let's see, Tinker's Construct is there. That's factorization. I mean, I haven't got a huge amount of stuff from Tinker's Construct. So uh, some of it's tools. So let's just grab some of these and we'll get the idea very, very quickly. So, all right, let's do this. So you guys are from Tinker's Construct. We can see that they're actually going to go find a home now. Um, and off they've gone. So if I've done this correctly, they should all be in here. Ah, oh, beautiful, look at that. 
And the same thing would happen if I put this stuff in there. Um, well, except for that one, that's thermal expansion, obviously. I might change that one for thermal expansion. Yeah, let's remove that and put thermal expansion in there. Um, simply because I use thermal expansion a lot more. Uh, this stuff doesn't really need its own chest for now, although I may change my mind later on. Um, it would make a lot more sense if I'm trying to sort things. So, let's see. Thermal expansion. Um, just give me a minute and I'll start sorting some stuff. So there we go. Just put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, and all of that should start funneling over this way now. Good. Um, I mean, it's not really a huge deal. Because a lot of the stuff is stuff that I tell the system to create anyway, except for maybe these item ducks. But I'm planning on, you know, using them a lot more in the future, so uh, maybe having a store of these things might be a good idea. Uh, let's see, now the other thing that I want to do is place down another one. And I've taught my system how to create the Mark II uh, chassis, so that's good, we'll create one of those. Um, or request one of those and get it sent over here um, and then I do have another one of these mod base item sinks so is it in my bag yes it is pop that right there like so mod based and I think I might just have one chest for magic stuff um, so that one there and let's just add them in here so you can add more than one obviously so Ars Magica 2, um, oh, a little bit laggy, uh, and then that means that all this um, Ars Magica stuff, I did end up finding it, so I was probably just being a little bit silly, um, Ars Magica and Thorncraft, uh, that's Tinker's Construct, Ars Magica, but you get the idea. Oh. Yeah, I think it forgot that I already knew how to do some spells, but I don't know, maybe. Um, right, so that stuff can go in here. Um, Ask Magica, that's Thorncraft, which it doesn't know yet. So to add the second one, uh, click on that. Thorncraft, I found the Thormonomicon in one of the chests, uh, so we might have to have a look at that one later as well. But now, if we click on this, put our Thorncraft stuff in there, um, and our Ask Magicka stuff, all of that should start getting put into our other chest now. Let's just move that stuff over here. Why isn't it moving? Ask Magic 2, and Thorncraft. Yeah. Um, you know what helps? If you put a chest on it. <laughs> So it may find it a little bit difficult to, um, you know, find a place for these things if I don't have a place in there for them. So, boom, 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 boom. Brilliant. Um, I mean, these things may end up getting their own chest later on anyway. But you get the idea. So, mod-based item sync, very cool. Um, I mean, I wish I could end up... Yeah, see, thermal expansion. Uh, I think that polymorphic item sync takes priority so if I put all of these ingots in here they will end up staying in here so that should be fine um, this stuff however I may have to sort into their own chest because this is almost getting full again <laughs> I accidentally put my food away so I'm very pleased that I can just hey can I please have a stack of apples oh look at you you're so kind oh and so handsome wait what <laughs> That's me, not you. Hmm. Um, what I might end up doing is just creating another ender pouch as well. Because uh, what I would like to do is actually link it to the center storage thing. Because if I'm out gathering materials and I may possibly die or something like that, I think it would be a really good idea to just be able to right click on one of these. I think I can just go shift left click. Yep, there we go. And you can see that my bag has now got a blue icon on it. Um, and I can open that one up instead. But I won't always have these chests around, so now I'm linking back to the request one. Um, yeah, I won't always be around it, so having a link to that at least I think might be a good idea. Not really sure. Well, whether it's a good idea or not, I've just done it, so 
how about damn apples? Uh, so that is not the one that I want to right click on, shift, right click, brilliant. So one blue icon, one white one. So if I look at this one, I can put the logistics crafting table right back into the network. It hasn't got a home because I've never actually left one in any of these chests. Um, maybe I'll just leave it under machine blocks for now. Because I mean, machine blocks should end up getting replaced in the long term. Um, and these pipes aren't exactly machine blocks anyway uh cool so that is pretty awesome um hmm that's all that i really want to get done for this episode um i'll see if i can think of something else or maybe we'll just call it quits yeah actually you know what there is one more thing that i will do um like i said earlier i am getting a lot more resources than i had before that is nice, I am very happy with that, but I would like to speed it up a little bit. Um, mainly because a quarry can only go so fast, and I'm not really into um, doing the turtle thing again, which I did last series, or my last mod series. So I'll make one more quarry, I'll get it set up, and then uh, we will yeah, call it uh, in for today. That's assuming that I've got enough diamonds. How many diamonds do I have? 13. Four diamonds per... Mm. I think I can get it done. I'm, I'm definitely going to see if I can just do this from directly over there without having to create anything else. Because uh, that was entirely the whole point of making this remote orderer. So, um, you may also notice a weird thing on the map. See this kind of line down here? That's one of the big chunks where there were, well, big sets of chunks where there was something corrupted going on. Like, I could fly over it, no worries, but I figure it must be the area that I blue screened, or like, that I was when I blue screened, and maybe that's how it corrupted. Um, so when I regenerated that area, it's for some reason just left that big kind of square type line. Um, this will go away if I end up going closer to it. Yeah, see? That's something else that I'm kind of dealing with, which is a bit odd, but oh well. Right, so there is our nice, lovely quarry. Uh, so things that I'll need. That's brilliant, because I could actually order some more redstone torches if I needed to create more of those um, markers. So where are... Yeah, see, I can only like request two of them because I didn't set up that thing properly. Um, so we'll turn that off. Uh, redstone torch, request two more of you, plus two more of these. Um, and then I need two diamond gears, one diamond pickaxe. Uh, okay, we'll see how we go. So two diamond gears, successful. Um, two sticks. Uh, and let's see, what else was I thinking? Oh yeah, and three more diamonds. Whew. So I'd be down to my last two diamonds because there would be one more in my set of chests. Uh, two golden gears and three iron gears. So two golden gears and three iron ones. Ah. Oh. Man, <laughs> so almost using up all of the rest of my diamonds for this silly thing. Um, something else that I might request as well, just while I remember, uh, one of these guys. I don't need need him, but I figure if there's like if I've got it and I'm not using it, there'd be something terribly terribly wrong with me. Uh, and we just place him in here like so, and we can actually do that again, and we get a slab version. Boom. Okay, shift, left click, and obviously it doesn't work because I don't have the pickaxe, which I did exactly that way last time. Shift, left click, still didn't work. Uh, and that on top, or in the middle, I forget. And like so. Nope, almost had it. There we go. So there's our quarry. Uh, I figure I'll place them right in there, um, but I might also just request a whole bunch of stone. Uh, I don't need an impressive amount, but 64 I figure will do. 
and one, two, three, four, brilliant. Right, so all I need to do is place that guy there, because he just needs to get a little bit more power. Um, or, hmm, remote orderer, uh, where are my pipes? There they are. Item duct, leadstone. We'll go for the hardened, may as well. Um, so they requested one of those, that's good. And then, hmm, I can make it so that this one doesn't connect, is all. So that's kind of what I want. I'm going to have to be quite quick about it. Because this thing will put out 200 reflux per side. Uh, and I think that's exactly how we're going to want to do this. So, right, we'll place that guy there. Um, and that's not being told to output out the back. So output, connected. Fine. Um, and then that guy goes there and then let's just put some of these up so one and I don't want it to go too far and I think I still have that lever over here good so let's just put the bag away for now lever And I could actually make it match this, because that would be a lot easier. So that guy can go there. And then I don't want to mar the land, is all. Like, that's kind of the whole point of making it go out over the water. So one, two, and that should be good. Uh, put that guy there. And I may end up still having to put one out this way. I'm not sure if it will remember. Um, oh, there we go. Cool. So because I clicked on that one over there last, it tries to connect to this one automatically, which is perfectly all right by me. Um, and since these things are so cheap, maybe I just won't bother trying to pick them up again. Cool. Um, so we can place this guy down now. Exactly how I wanted it. And, oh, that's going to be a problem. Um, hang on a second. So don't move. Um, what we can do, let's see. Uh, remote orderer. I can make them end up going into that same chest or I can make it just completely different chest. I think I'll use the same one. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem. Um, if I end up putting some pipes down, one, two, three. Good. One. And two. Now that should end up working. Uh, let's just put that there. I wasn't really sure how many I'd need. Um, and then we can put that lot straight back. Yeah. So when that finishes, we'll be able to see how far along this is going to end up going. Um, oh, good, 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 good. I love the magic of editing. <laughs> so all I had to do is just stop recording and voila. This thing is all ready and away it goes. Um, I figure since it's putting out 200 red flux per side and I'm only making like 380 or something, um, less than 400 anyway, I figure that these guys are going to actually drain my stuff quite quickly. Why are you gaining in power? That's gaining a lot more than this guy over here is. I'm not entirely certain why. I feel like that's actually putting it into there and when it shouldn't be. Um, what can I do about that? Request. Um, so one, two, three, yeah, I'll just request two more and that'll be good, one, two, and I don't want you, I want this one, one, two, and one, two, drop, three, there we go, and you output out your front, 
So now this one should only be getting its minimum amount. This one should only be getting its minimum amount. Uh, and this is still getting a lot more power. Um, actually, in, oh yeah, input is 400. For some reason I thought it wasn't. Uh, so good. So that's staying full. It's able to power these things just fine. Um, I mean, its maximum it can output is supposed to be 400 per side anyway. Eh, who cares? Uh, all I am happy about is the fact that this is automatically putting stuff into this chest. Um, you can see that by what shows up there. And once it actually gets down to the floor before having to worry about flattening this lot out, um, I mean, we'll start seeing all of that stuff become a lot more regular. So prepare to get a lot more sand, Corey. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty. So that is the end of our episode today. I hope you are all having a fantastic day as per usual. Uh, Harold uh, will not be sleeping over you guys. Uh, no, not, that's the wrong word. Um, Harold will not be watching you guys sleep, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, he greets you, of course, yep, and he says thank you for watching, blah 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 blah. Uh, his name is Harold, my name is SparkVGX, which is just a remainder of one of his memories now, when he killed me. Oh no! Uh, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>